right, sit back, enjoy, wish us luck. Do they have to keep their arms and feet inside at all times on this inside one? Inside the ride at all times. Uh, it, oh, any height restrictions? Yes, you gotta be my height. At least keep his height to participate in the watching of this episode of Stealth Figures. <laughs> It's the start. <laughs> We're gonna give you the head start. You got some kind of purse here. Awesome, huh? That is crazy. Well, how exciting. So you've been working a ton. Yeah. How are you feeling? He's a lineman, so. I think for yesterday I had to run a hoist. And it was like the span was like it's like thousand feet long span I had to run a hoist. My shoulders are killing me like I'm sure they are. Is there a doctor in the house? Funny you should ask that. We have a chiropractic doctor in the house right no, now. No, you do not. Yeah, come on, we'll take care of you. Relax, drop that on. Oh my god. I heard that. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, I feel phenomenal. So, here we go. It's Thursday again. It is Thursday, and uh, the video's coming out later. That means we have another episode coming up right now. Right now? Yep, it's okay. going to be myself, Keebs, Ninjen, Keebles-san. How you doing? I don't know, man. I got the biggest hangnail. It's hurting me freaking crazy, see. right? A hangnail? Yeah. It's yeah. just freaking pulsating and pussing. It's like, ugh. Yeah, address, address the audience, see if we can... Uh... Is there a doctor in the house? The doctor. <laughs> Whoa, it's the start hey, doc. Come on, come on. Dr. John, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Good to see you. Hey, right. he's got a hangnail. Yeah, what, what would you say? So, what, what do you think? Let me see. That's from vegetation. Oh. All right, so there you go. I guess that's the setup for the video. Now that uh, the doctor's in the house, is there is there a magician in the house? Is there an exhibitionist <laughs> in the house? Well, <laughs> put that away. <laughs> We're going digging today. Let's do it. Lou, Lou, you put guys, you guys got to see Lou. He's improved upon his watchdog characteristics. It, it's it's unbelievable. It's chilly, isn't That's it? That's the hardest working cat I've ever seen. Mm, yeah, better than a dog. Oh boy. So we'll leave you with a shot of Lou as we head out to uh, venture and see you in the woods. We just stopped off at the uh, post office to get, you know, stealth stuff out to all the stealthies. Mm. I just jumped out of the vehicle. I got a surface find already. Yeah. Do you want to do the extraction? Yeah, sure. Okay. What the hell is that? I'm thinking it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shoe buckle frame. It's not a freaking, it's like a plastic. <laughs> is it plastic? Yeah. Oh, I must have my discrim all set wrong. It got me excited for nothing. I thought I had a shoe buckle frame right off the bat. All right, continue on with the timeline. All right, one more blast stop thrust in the timeline before we get to the woods. Uh, we stopped in for, you know, snacks and things, and Jen's out here. Syrup is fine. Look at this. Not bad, huh? That's a Night Eyes um, keychain clip. That's, like, worth, like, five or six bucks. Yeah, so does that mean I'm up five, six bucks? Oh, easily. From yeah. your buckle? De so far, fine of the day. What oh, is that a ring Oh no. No, that's actually a... Oh my god, no, no don't touch it. <laughs> Was that on the pavement? It was on the pavement. Nice. Wow. I love when you see stuff like this. Uh, that's what the ground looks like underneath in New Hampshire. When a tree turns over. Freaking rocks. Yeah. Rocks, rocks, and a little bit of dirt. Very little. Very, very little. So, seeing the docks from New Jersey, uh, is your first time in New Hampshire? Uh, yes, absolutely. First time. So, he's getting to see what the terrain looks like, uh, what colonial 
home sites are all about, and uh, you can see one already. Yeah. Do you see it? Where it drops off right there with the, the lip. I mean, that's a yep. rim right there. Good eye. As usual, Doc, um, being that this is your first time, you're the guest of the day. We're going to give you the head start. Okay. Two minute head start, and that was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Go! All right, let me. Uh... What do you think the odds are? Has he, got a, has he got a fighting chance of finding something, a good culture, before we get in there? Well, his form is good. Yeah. He's got, yeah. He's got rhythm. Yeah. There's no doubt. I mean, look at that Look at that swing and timing. Yeah. Wait a minute. He's, he's isolating something. I think he might be going in for a culture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, he's putting oh, oh, oh. it down. Yeah. Yep, here we go. He's breaking ground. Shall we go in for the close-up? We shall. 1238, 1237 is usually uh, a copper. Yeah. I can I get to a point where you know the flex is gonna really yeah. sometimes yeah, if it's frozen, yeah. Oh that's a nice rock. A nice Who's piece. carrying this out for me? Look, <laughs> look at the um cumberbundy. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. nail. Well check. Let's yeah, recheck. That can't be what you're looking for. Not with that signal. No, some of these nails they throw they do because the because the iron and the mineralization will do it. It'll yeah. absolutely ring as a coin. Yep, that was it. She Hold picked up. it up at six inches. Wow. So there you have it, and that is a pretty common occurrence here in Saskatchewan is that you get a great signal and it's a big iron nail. That actually wasn't that large of a nail, but it had good quality. So, all right, rest of us are going to hit the ground now that that's out of the way. And uh, excited. All right, well. I'm off the back side of the cellar hole. Let me brush it off. I think that's part of a shoe buckle frame. It looks looks to be pewter. Yeah, I think that's what we got. So we got the start of some relics here. Other than that, it's it's fairly quiet. So this one sounds like it's right on the surface, right? I just kicked the brush back. There is something in there. Oh, nice. Pewter. Fifty-four. Weird roll, right? Oh. Just under the surface. I mean, this is stealth cam is on a tree right now. So right here, I just kicked the brush aside and I bit, I just scraped it with my shovel, and uh, I'll let you extract. That's hopefully it's not a lid of a can or something. Wow. It's pretty. It is. What is that thing? I don't know, but it's very light. Damn. What is it? No idea. I've never seen one before. Okay. Oh, I can I can check that off the list yes. of things to find. Very cool. Hey son, huh. what you get? I have no idea. Lead, maybe? Actually, Kyle, with closer inspection, look at that's folded over. That might actually be a ball button that's yeah. been mangled and folded. See the uh inside there? Yeah. I think you're right. Much better than chunk of lead. Oh yeah. But, uh, Good job. So you haven't confirmed coin, you're just saying coin it's, signal? Well, it's right there. I mean, it's, I, I popped it. I mean, there it is. Oh, oh yeah. There's the, I, hey, I, that's thin. That looks, like, thin. that looks like lead or pewter to me. It looks like... Uh, no, that's real, man. No, he might have a lead, bu a pewter button. Pewter button. It is. John. Oh, yeah. Be careful. It'll yeah. fall apart. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There it is. Button, dude. Uh, yeah, looking for a USA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Put that in a safe spot. Yeah, I gotta go get my little box and nice, Doc. put it in there. Yeah, it was a good signal. I was waiting for a low signal because all I was getting was iron signals, and I'm digging them all because they're pretty solid. But right. that one came up real low, and it was solid out of all the different ones. That was the first different signal I hit all morning. Yeah, that thing's probably 300 years old. At least. Very nice. All right. What you got there, Ninjen? I. I'm not quite sure. Is that a, um, a zipper pull? Maybe? Maybe. Is it a cuff link? I don't know. It was like right on the surface too. I have no idea. That's awesome. Jen, I think I have something of yours. I'm I'm just I just came over to tickle the area that you were in. So realistically. Let me show you why I said that. She was over here and she pulled all this stuff out. Beautiful china. Some bricks, nails, uh, a that, a this, and other thing. 
but I just swung over where you were working. Uh, it's yes. yours. You can have it. No, it's just I need to punch it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Oh yeah, yeah it's complete. Itty bitty. Nice one. Very cool. Well, here we are. A good quarter mile from the uh, home site, the cellar hole. I've been going way out here on orbit. In fact, the cord's not long enough. I had to leave the mic back over by that tree over there. Uh, just got a signal and we're gonna take a peek. Right in there. Oh. Hey, musket ball. Nice, dropped. Look at that, you can see the seam and everything on it. Beauty. Well, here's something interesting. I dug it up, it was folded, it's lead, right? But if you look with light, is it just me or does that look like it has markings on it? It almost looks like it says Nico. Huh. Flat bale seal, maybe? Or just something somebody fabricated by hand here at the, at the home site? Interesting. What's happening behind the hole? button action. Oh, awesome. Mm, nothing on it. With shankage, huh? With shankage. You do? I'll be right over. Where did he get? He got his first. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Button? Hey! Yeah. You do realize you're in the middle of the road. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> the road never got worked because of this tree. Oh, yeah, I know. Look at it. Yeah, this is this is the road. Nice. Full shanks. Yeah. Good job. Well, let's, uh, I'm gonna go check in with the doc and uh, document his kiss. He just got a button in the road. Look at this. Now let me. That that's your first oxen shoe in Saskatchewan. Absolutely. Is it your first oxen shoe ever? No. You do realize what has to happen with your first one dug here. Brillo pad it to and clean it right off. It's like a, a paying of respect, tribute, and there's some voodoo involved to hopefully warn off the others. That's a nice one, actually. It's pretty big. I was surprised. Because the ones I find are usually like beat up to the point where they're broken down, but that's got a pretty good... Well, around here, the terrain is so bad that the oxen usually go kaput before the shoes do. Good job, John. All I think right. we're going to move on because we can. Yeah, that's fine. I'm ready. Well, I haven't found one of these in a long time, but... An axe head. And you can definitely see why it was thrown away. It's broken. Yeah. Say la vie. All right, update before we mosey on. Where Keebs just dug his really nice button out of the old road. He said there's more in the hole. Might be a um, car hood or fridge door. Storage lid. A deer, a female deer. No. No, look. Button still. Oh, there was two in there. <laughs> there was two in there. Are they, uh... Yep. Bent over on that one, but look, identical. Did you come across any teeth? No. Beauty. It's a dente latte. Oh, I think Kason found our bridge. Oh, this is very cool. And this is absolutely fabulous. Look at, look at how the walls taper out on the ends. Yeah. Wow. This is one of the better ones. Oh, I want to get under the undercarriage and check it out. Oh, yeah. And you got daylight. Get right in there, Charlie. <laughs> wow. You know, uh, one fact that they don't take into consideration, and it's been, the point has been made that there's enough walls inside of New England to go from here to the moon and back or whatever. That's Around walls. Europe, seven times. That's not taking into account all the cellar holes, wells, and bridges. Correct. Massive. That's beautiful. Look how square that thing is. You really should look at this, John. I'm, I'm going to come down there right now. It's, it's like perfectly flush going all the way across. All right, Keeps, close up the vault. Beautiful though, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine moving all these by yourself? Well, not by yourself, but Building it? by hand. That's incredible. I love how they even fit the pieces in. Yeah, there's probably other pieces too. I just fell through. Wow, imagine coming over this with your wagon and getting jammed in there. I'm stuck. Yeah. Calling on your friend Ebenezer because your your wagon's jacked up at the bridge. 
<laughs> call it triple A. What do they call it back then? All right, here we are at the uh, next location. Just walked in. Everyone's spread out in this square. The home site sat here, but there's no signs of it except for all the stuff that's in the ground, which is plenty of signals. Doc cruises up, minding his own business. And he got a target and he says he doesn't like the looks of it. All right, so what are you chasing over here? I don't know, but when I started going, yep. I pulled out part of a shoe. Yep, that's definitely a shoe heel. The leather. The leather. And some bone. And some bone. Oh, excellent. This is not humorous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's why it was hard to hit. It was hard to get. Yeah, I a rivet. Well, if you find any more of the leg, let me know. Huh? He's gonna work on his new wardrobe. We'll be back. Oh, you got part of a stopping from Flopson. Nice. Hey, cute. Little suspender. Latch clasp type thing. Very good. They're all rivets. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, cross-century contamination here. Yeah. But there's got to be some good targets. We'll right. find them. I'm going to put my coil down. Good job. What do you got? Looks like part of stuff. Oh, yeah. Huh. But it's like all over here. It's like scattered. It might be dumped. Right. Well, there's metal against the trees. It's kind of everywhere. You heard that? Oh, yeah. I don't know if it can be anything good. I came running. Ninety ninety one. I actually can't remember the last time I saw or, or heard a number that clear. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to film? There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Freaking pipe. <laughs> Nice. Nothing like pipe excitement. Mmm. All the... <laughs> Alright, so I'm... The other uh, square is over there where the house was. I'm in this one. It's nice and uh, flat. Came across this. I, uh... Oh, nice. What we got? What we got? One cent. That's an Indian head. Alright. Oh, there's more. There's more. Alright, I'm, I'm stopping. Keebs is over here in the next square. He's yelling for me. Whoa, what have you got? I don't know. But I've... I you got a whole I, bunch of them. <laughs> I think. Unless it's more of this metal. I think there might be... You got cloth, though. Yeah. And metal. Another one? Yeah. Oh, man. I hope there's some shiny in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two more. Wow. No way, Keebs. I think this is, oh, oh. my God. This is going to be a, a record-breaking stealth cow. diggers coin spill find. You got some kind of purse here. <laughs> I was Indian interested. head again. Interesting to see what the dates are. So let me wow. ask you, what was the signal like? I was like, might as well get the tin can out of there. Wow, Keebs. All right, so first of all, Here's the residuals. So it's like, it's almost like it's a tin, right? Yeah. And cloth. I wonder if it was like a little itty bitty case. Probably. That's burlap. Yeah, it is. Hold on to that. That's That should go with the find. I mean, that's just oh, yeah. remarkable. And look at this. Look at that. Well, let's tally them up and see if we can get a ballpark on the uh, date ranges. 88. I think that's 99. Oh, that was a fat one. Oh, nice. You got a fat boy in there. 59. Dude, I think this says 1909. I think you literally have the span. And you know what? Oh, wait. The... Hold on. Nine. So what's the total? One, one little, two little, three little Indians. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. 10! Ten little Indian boys! Wow. Wow. Probably a tobacco tin, huh? Yep. And he was just saying to me the other day, uh, this season for him started out with lots of Indian heads. Oh, yeah. Wow, this puts me 15, 16, 17 Indians right around there. That's incredible. It's a big hole, man. Yeah. Oh, boy. With a, a look. 
coin. Yes. A freaking like purse. Ten Indian head pennies. And it sounded like just the yeah. mush. You cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Awesome, huh? That is crazy. Yeah, it's a big spot. So we're in the field next to the square that had the home where it's trashy as anything. Keebs dug that spill uh, about 100 feet in that direction. I just walked down here to catch up with Jen, and I got a great signal, but it's that weird 78 number. Anything on the Garrett Pro or Gold, 75 to 78, but it's tight, listen. Definitely weird. That number, man. What is it part of a, is it a is lock that, box Yes, discussion? I think it is. Look at that. Oh, that's a fancy Oh, one. it is. See, it's got the hole right there. Oh, yeah, cool one there. Cool, it's my first good target here. This is so cool. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like the dock's got something. It's turning out to be an interesting location. Really? That's big and green. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah? All right, do it. Yep, there you go. Get ready for it. Snap it out. Wait, mm -hmm. is your, did you zip her up? Slowly. Yeah, go slow, because once it's over, it's over. Yeah. I need a light. Try oh, it. maybe. What the heck? Is it hold? That's even better. Yeah. It's got a hole. Yeah. Just looking for safety. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Crazy high. Push it through with a bristle. Yeah, it'll work. Best cap of the day. Yeah. Well, actually, large copper. Yeah. Definitely a coin old. 11 for the day. If you look yeah. hard enough, you can almost imagine there's stuff around the edge, but it's not. You, oh, yeah. Your eyes will fool you always. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 11 coppers! <laughs> Whoa! So, uh, like father, like son? Oh, yeah, it's a honking big piece of metal. What the heck, where is it? It's got letters on this side. Letters? Yeah. Yeah, patent, P-A-T, period. Yeah, A-U-G, four. R. Oh, it's A. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's well, it's got a patent number. Better keep it. Oh, yeah. So, while the doc's digging that up, we're going to prepare to leave this place. We're going to go get a couple cups of ambition. Go, go juice. Coffee. And then we're going to take the doc by the uh, cellar hole, swimming hole, so he can see it. And uh, maybe he can find something fancy there. What? Padlock? Oh, nice sweet. Padlock. Oh, you know what? Padlock lock. That's aw It looks like Mork from Orc's Egg. <laughs> <laughs> or a Baba Papa. Oh, wow. Look at that. This still on my bucket list. So nice. That was ringing nice. I knew that was a good. That's a beauty, dog. Nice. Th those are the kind that went on chastity belts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you had one when you were you, right? Yeah. Distracted. On the way out. Nice, man. Wang, wang, wang. That's always the way. Let's leave. Let's leave on that note. Nice. Yeah, really, then you find Watch some. your well, step on this. Let's go. Your phone's here. Whoa, look over there. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you see? I thought it was a hole, but I guess it was. Watch this. All right, so we're, oh, what you got? we're fueling up. The dock and caisson are out here. Go, oh, wow. Definitely zinc, huh? Zinc on? Wow. Well, you know, it's a recovery. Nothing like a good surface, man. I'm, I'm hoping to... Uh, I'm going to hit the drive-through area. You think the cars will mind? No, I, think, I think Heeb's already got it. Cool. Now that we're uh, fueled up, scouring the ground for surface finds. And... Uh, oh, Cigarette. We're gonna go with the doc's request to go to the swimming hole. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a, a fire drills fashion. We're gonna, we're gonna fly up. Right about then is when the Celtics knew that we're in trouble. Boot him out of the van, and he's got 11 minutes. Let's see what I can find. To 
We'll see what he can find. Get out! All right, move, 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 move. Come on, Doc. Listen, you got 11 minutes. You can't miss it. It's right there on the right. We got to run to the 2200s. We'll be back in 45 seconds. Good luck. You overshot by about 800 feet. <laughs> That's the hole. You got 11 minutes. Uh, it can go into overtime if you hit an item from the 1800s or silver of any era. And this is the hole right here? That's the hole, man. That's that's ground zero, so. All right. That's about where I can work some magic. All right, so just a couple minutes in here, Jen comes over, and what did you just say when we left the site last time? I the, wanted a lot. You wanted a lock. And look at this, she's got the bottom half of one. Yes! You just never know what you'll find here. No. Wonder how the doc's doing. He's running around like a madman. He's a little crazy. Yeah, he didn't even sustain an injury from that dismount. No, he knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, the doc got himself an item. Oh, nice, he got his CCR. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's, what it is, it's that's, heavy. That's like a, you know, like a tie-down kind of CCR. Keep that thing anchored, you know? Nice, John. Let's see. Is that the front side? Yes, front is the back. This is like the benchmark of detecting for us where it's like, it's a test site as well. Go back, see if you can find anything else. You're impressed if you find anything. Wow. All right, I'm, let's tickle it some more. I'll I'll swing. You be like my co-pilot spotter. You listen just in case, you know. All right, come here. You guys aren't going to believe this. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. What? I don't see it. Oh, what the? Right? Oh, it's oh perfect! Oh my god! It is so perfect! Oh man! That is an old one! I can't even tell you how much that tickles me right now. Wow! <laughs> that tickles me! Unbelievable! You guys know, you have sites that you go to and pound and pound and pound. I'm sure you pull things out of there after being there so many times. But... Wow! Yes! That's the second Crotal Bell out of the lip here. I gave the other one to Beardo's mom. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. This is the one you actually get to keep for it is mine now. Oh. That must be keeps coming back for the dock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna slam it down some more. Right up against that tree. Beautiful. Alright, so I got a mid-tone signal. Mid-50s, right? About normal. But I just kicked the topsoil aside, and I have glass poking out. And I'm hoping it's old glass. Let's extract together. Okay. No, nothing crazy old. Oh. Gordon's. Sale or reuse of this bottle forbidden. Gordon's. That may have to end up in Florida, don't you think? All right, let's see what the target was or is. Weinstein here just informed me that the signal was probably the bottle cap. Ding, ding. Painfully obvious, thanks, Greg. What is that? Oh, what in the... What? what? Is that a suspension? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's some type of suspender See? latch, but it's like super fancy. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Flip it over the fancy side again. No light for a second? Wow. Gorgeous. It's got fanciness all over it. Wow. You got fanciness all over you today. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm in the zone. Ooh. Yeah. See that? Hells to the yes. Look at that. That is awesome. It's the dock. The dock's bringing bringing me luck. So hopefully, you know. Oh, no. Why is it not 
Alright, I'm going for a signal. Open up the ground. I got a clay marble. I've never dug one of these. You do? Hell yeah. Well, let's see what the signal is. What the hell is that? No, it's shiny. Too shiny. Way too shiny. Definitely something. Alright. Have you been watching this from out on orbit? Yeah. Wow, huh? Yeah, I know. And you? Huh? You while you were out in orbit, and how's it, how's it looking out there? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, went pretty far. You'll have to uh, get extreme close up on this. Okay. Early Native American money. Mm. Whoa. Huh? No. Let's do the close up. <laughs> Real nice. So you found. Well, the raccoons had a, a nice meal. No, I found silver. Really? Button. Really? Pearls. Pearls? Pearls. Here's my baton. Talk back, huh? Yeah. Over there. Nice. Went all the way down to that last picnic grove that has the... <laughs> <laughs> has the, uh, the, um, the path all the way down to the swimming hole. Yeah. So I followed that down and I got this piece of silver. We always pull silver. Whoa, what is that from? Hey, junk jewelry. Oh. And here we go. This has lettering on it, design, pearls. It's like. Wow. wow. <laughs> Focus. Me, yeah. Focus. All right. To the next scene. All right. We'd be going to Earl's now. Everybody hungry? Yeah. Mm. We're hanging out under Kit's undercarriage out of the rain. Like a Christmas goose early. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I want to say I'm in perfect balance. Uh, gosh, I got the perfect amount of tobacco. CBD? CBD. <laughs> which uh, I took orally and vape. Uh -huh. and, wow. the, and then I had the electrolytes that is the so-called Mind FX. Mind FX? Mind FX. I mean, performance. I am like... Solid! I mean, like, oh, strike a pose! Apparently something's working in the diet because we all had a good day. And, and speaking of diet and going to Earl's, a month and a half ago back in the continuum when the Illinois crew was here, David Perdue left a gift in the shack. He did? $50 it, oh, for so, Earl's. We have a $50 bill yeah, baby. going to our meal at Earl's and I figured Whoa. best to spend it on the next guest who came. Which is the dock. So we're gonna go get some blood sludge and uh blood sludge. I thought you were gonna say he left his grinder. <laughs> so let's go. Alright. Awesome. Uh, Rubens are good. I'll follow you. Anyway. You guys do you guys do a big thing of chili and cheese fries Yeah. Okay. Doc, what do you get from Earl's? I got the Reuben. Oh yeah, look at all that animal. This is like ooey and gooey and Oh, look yeah, at that. Look at that. That friggin' coronary glue right there. <laughs> and what's that, Keeps? It's a chi chili cheese. cheese fries. Since we have a long walk, tell them what the significance of going to this location is about, like, the lo geographically. It's in absolutely the middle of nothing. The dock just got a crazy find. You could iron your like your cat's sweater. Yeah. Or his tail. Right. Well the cat. But just see you finally. Yeah. Would that rank? 70s? Yep, 70s. Wow, that thing's gonna clean up oh, great. Man. Well, when I get off this mountain, you know where I'm gonna go? Straight down the Mississippi. To the Gulf of Mexico, yeah. So as always, thank you for watching. We really enjoyed having the doc with us today. And you know, he may end up in the uh, continuum a bit more from this on episode out. You never know. So until next time, stay young, always keep them guessing, and always stay kind. Long live the Constitutional Republic. God bless America. And live free or die. Get off your couch. <laughs> Dig!
Kyle's going to hang out. We'll see you later, right? Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Kyle! What? Is it wet out there? Hey, Kyle! Cut Kyle! He hangs out a lot lately, Keebs. Yeah. The doc gets to sign the bench. And we just want to say thank you to the doc anyways because he's one of the admins in our Facebook group. He has been for... Yeah, we will be moving it up to two years this coming winter, and uh, you really put your time and heart into it. And we obviously appreciate it, so. And you obviously appreciate it. So it's awesome and an honor for us to have you uh, sign the bench. All right. Interesting. Look at that. It's a brick line. It's not a well, it's a system. And. Whoa! Look at that guy! Oh, look at that big toad! Whoa! <laughs> Uh -huh. You're not getting uh -huh. away from not uh -huh. okay. doing that. You just get to do it here as opposed to there. Let's make some noise. You ready, Keeps? Yep. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Very good, dog. <laughs> So before we wrap up today's episode, there's a couple people stopping by to see you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hi! Guys. Hey! What's up, brother? How I are was you? just Good setting the dock up because I actually went outside and you guys were actually pulling down. I was like, now's the time. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Woohoo! Dr. John Nero hey, is nice a flash. Hey, nice to so, meet you officially. Finally, yeah. Get out! Move, 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 move. One, two, little, three little Indians. Four, little, five, little, six little Indians. Seven, little, eight, little, nine little Indians. Ten! Ten little Indian boys! Is there a doctor in the house? Whoa, oh, it's the star hey, doc. Come in over here. Dr. John, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, right. he's got a hangnail. Yeah, what, what would you say? So, what, what do you think? Let me see. That's from vegetation. Oh.